Yesterday, President Trump said he wants to loosen the virus lockdown and restart the economy within three weeks, saying, quote, you can destroy a country this way by closing it down, unquote. Now, is he right? And would you support some lower risk groups being allowed to work again? Um, look, my approach is going to be safety first. I wouldn't let any of my employees go back to work if I didn't feel with 100 percent certainty that they were going to be safe. I don't care what the president or anybody else says. And I think most same people will do it the same way. I understand he's trying to give people hope that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I don't blame him for that at all. But at the same time, when we get to Easter, I don't think there's going to be a cutoff date. I think hopefully we'll have more information. Hopefully there'll be some, you know, some ways that we can deal with the virus and have therapies for it. And then we can set a time to come out of the quarantine. But again, the trust factor for, for medical information and dates for certainty coming from any politician is low. When, when our scientists and medical experts start saying, you know what, it's safer, then I'll start looking at allowing our employees to come out of their houses and maybe go back to work. But yeah, I'm not going to take any politician's word for it ever. Mm -hmm. um Mark, you know, many people are calling Governor Cuomo President Cuomo at this point for the way he's leading New York State during this pandemic. But uh, President Trump has berated him, saying he needs to do more, that he should be buying his own ventilators for New York, and that the relationship needs to be a two-way street. Trump's walked that back this morning, though, saying that he likes Cuomo. But is this how Trump should be spending his time, criticizing the governor of one of the hardest-hit uh, states? No. I mean, obviously not. I mean, but look, again, I, we're, we're in the middle of something we've never experienced before. There's no good reason just to rip on, you know, I'm, I'm ripping on politicians generically, but on the decisions that have been made, particularly from the president, he is who he is. I'm, I'm not going to just stand around, tear him apart. But what we are doing, and look, I've talked to Peter Navarro. They're looking, he's working to source um, PPE equipment, and he's busting his ass. I've talked to Senator Mnuchin. He's busting his ass to get the small business deal done. So while, you know, Donald Trump can go and tweet about whatever he wants, I'm looking to see, I'm looking towards the people who are actually doing the work. And are we trying to solve things coming out of the government? Yes, I think we are. And that's what I focus on. And I know government, Governor Cuomo, he's busting his ass because they're working with another group I'm involved with, Project N95, mm -hmm. that is a marketplace for PP&E. And so there's a lot of great people doing a lot of great things, um, including Governor Cuomo. And I'd rather focus on what's getting done than what's not getting done. Uh, Mark, you said the other day that uh, the nation will face, quote, social unrest if money doesn't go out quickly to struggling Americans. What do you mean by that? What could happen? So this is prior to the bill being that's about to be passed that Senator Schumer was talking about. But look, if, if you don't know what where your next dollar is coming from, if you don't know how you're going to pay your bills, if you don't know if you're going to be able to afford to put food on the table for your family, what wouldn't you do to take care of your family? And that's scary to me because, you know, whether it's crime, whether it's, you know, social unrest, people taking to the streets, it, it's not inconceivable. We've seen it happen before, and you can't blame people who can't feed their kids yeah. if they do whatever they need to do. Now, if this thing, now that this thing looks like it's going to be passed, and it looks like there's going to be $1,200 per person and a little bit more for children going to families in need, that's a beautiful thing. Now our focus has to be on making sure that the government follows through. Even when Senator Schumer came on, he said it would be sometime next week. Sometime is not a date. <laughs> you know, sometime next week isn't a commitment. And so we as citizens have to be very vigilant and say, okay, what are you guys going to do? How is that money going to get to us so that, you know, citizens can then say, okay, maybe I can go to my bank. Maybe I can go to, to an app, whatever it may be, and hopefully avoid scams so that I can get in advance so I can put food on the table today. Right. So I think, guys, we need to be very vigilant that we don't, that senior citizens in particular, but anybody doesn't fall victim to scams where people say, I'll get your money today for against the government check that's coming next week. Oh.